So in this video, we are going to make Ultron's helmet from What If. Honestly, this video should have come one month earlier, but I got busy with some other projects and orders from our website. Well, if you haven't checked our website yet, then link will be in the description box. Ultron's helmet is quite complicated, but a big shout out to Nico Industries for designing STL files for this helmet. Let's start printing it. If you don't have a big 3D printer, then you can split a part into two sections with the help of Mesh Mixer. You can get a lot of tutorials on YouTube for that. After we are done with printing, we need to stick all the parts together with the help of super glue. This is how it would look after sticking all the parts together. Now we are going to sand all the parts with the help of sandpaper and Rimmel. All the parts are sanded but they have quite a rough surface because we used Rimmel and sandpaper on it. So now we are going to wet sand all the parts so they have a clean and smooth surface. We need to fill in the gaps now, so for that we are going to use NC putty. Now all the gaps are filled, so we need to sand it again to make surface even. Let's spray grey primer on helmet now. Make sure to wear safety mask and glasses while using spray paints. To motorize the helmet, we are going to use some 3D printed parts and servo. Just follow my steps. I have attached two EVA foam pieces at bottom of the servo mount, so we can stick servo bracket to helmet perfectly. Cover the servo with small plastic bag as we are going to spray paint again. This section of the helmet is golden in the series, so to make it golden, we are going to cover other part of the helmet with paper tape and plastic sheet.
Let's spray golden paint on it now. Remove paper tape very carefully and only after the color is completely dried. We are going to use this box key to attach faceplate to the helmet. After that, attach horns to the helmet with the help of super glue. For the eyes part, we are going to use acrylic sheet. We need to light them up and see through them at the same time. So for that we are going to drill minute holes in the acrylic sheet. For example, if your sheet is of 2mm, then the holes depth should be just 1mm. That means one side should be smooth and the other should be rough. Let's attach red LEDs to those acrylic pieces now. You can get these lights in any online store. We are going to use hot glue to stick all four eyes to the face plate. Let's test if it works with 9V battery. Yeah, it works perfectly. We are going to use binding wire to connect servo to the face plate. For the mind stone, I just poured some hot glue and after it was dried, I gave it a shape of mind stone. We are going to apply yellow glass color on it and let it dry for at least 2-3 to three hours. To control this helmet, we are going to use Witblocks Wi-Fi clip, power blocks and servo blocks. Witblocks is doing a great job by making so useful components which don't even need programming. You can get these all parts from their website or app. We are going to connect Mindstone's LED directly to Wi-Fi clip. To power it up, we are going to use two 3.7V batteries. For the LED eyes, I have connected 9V battery connector and one switch. Now let's put all the parts and components in the helmet with hot glue. To hide all the electric parts, we are going to attach some foam in the helmet. Now just spray lacquer on the helmet. It will bring extra shine on our helmet.
If you guys like the video, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video with another amazing project. Bye.